Shobi 6.3 for the iOS app has some new and exciting features. From the Activity Center to an improved user interface, which makes it even easier to see the route map of where you've been and the path you've taken to get there. But that's not all. With 6.3, Shobi is now multi-screen supported. This means that you can run two versions of the app at the same time, including the Activity Center, which goes into a handy little tab at the bottom when in 50-50 mode or less. Moving into three-part to one-part mode, you are able to navigate individually or even together at the same time. This means you can go to different places in the app or if you wish, go to a different file within the same assignment. This is particularly useful when you've uploaded as a teacher answers for the students to use when marking, or when the teacher themselves is marking, as shown here. Annotation tools coupled with the quick marking feature means that marking can be quicker than ever before, allowing you to keep the answers on one side whilst using the quick marking feature to identify and work through the class quickly. But that's not all. iOS 14 and Shobi 6.3 work in unison to bring you Scribble, allowing users with Apple Pencil or Logitech crayons to change handwritten text into typed text. This can be used anywhere within the app where you can normally type text from comments, in classes, or class discussions, to adding grades and comments, and even scribble out previously written content and change. Lastly, scribble can even be used within the documents themselves, within a text box or even a comment bubble. Shobi 6.3 Making teacher, student and parent life just that little bit easier. If you require any further information or support you can reach out to us via our website, our email or our social media channels.